Hi, I'm Kristen from the Margarita Kitchens. I'm going to show you how margarita meats add flavor to any meal. Today we're going to cook a pizza with margarita capicola, grilled peaches, and gorgonzola cheese. This recipe is from Carbone's Ristorante in Hartford, Connecticut, a family-owned restaurant for more than 75 years. It's really flavorful and actually very simple, so let's go ahead and get started. First take a Ziploc bag and you're going to put in your peach halves. And next we're going to add some herbs to these, a little pinch of salt, a little pinch of pepper, our red wine, a little bit of garlic, and just about half of our olive oil. Now we're going to seal up the bag and we're going to let these peaches marinate for just about an hour. Now every 15 minutes you need to turn the bag just to help the peaches marinate. Once that's done, we're going to heat a grill pan over high heat. We're going to remove the peaches from the marinade and we're actually going to place each one of them cut side down and let them cook until there are grill marks. Then go ahead and flip them over, and we're going to do the exact same thing to the other side. And when they're done, we're going to remove the peaches onto a cutting board, and when they cool, we're going to cut them into thin slices. Now it's time to preheat the oven to 400 degrees and make sure that the rack is right in the center. Now while that's heating, on a floured countertop or a cutting board, we're going to roll out the pizza dough into a 6 to 8 inch circle. And you can get pizza dough at just about any supermarket. Now we're going to lightly coat a baking sheet with olive oil. And we're going to go ahead and place the dough on it. We're only going to bake this about halfway at first, so that's really only about 10 minutes in the oven. Now after 10 minutes, take the dough back out of the oven, and we're going to lightly brush it with some olive oil. Then we're going to spread a nice even layer of our margarita capicola all the way around. And then we're going to do the same thing with the peach slices. Then we're going to sprinkle our gorgonzola cheese on top. We're going to go ahead and put the pizza back in the oven for about 8 to 10 minutes or until the cheese melts and the capicola just begins to curl. Now capicola is a delicate Italian ham and the flavor mixes really well with the peaches. Take it out of the oven, cut it into slices, and yum. This is a truly delicious recipe. Pizza with margarita capicola, grilled peaches, and gorgonzola. It's a restaurant quality dish that's easy to make at home. Hi, I'm Kristen from the Margarita Kitchens. I'm going to show you how margarita meats add flavor to all your meals. For instance, did you know you can use prosciutto to wrap more than just melon? We're going to make halibut wrapped with margarita prosciutto piccata style. It comes from Carbones in Hartford, Connecticut, a family-owned restaurant for more than 75 years. This is a unique, elegant dish that is very simple to prepare, and I can't wait. So let's just go ahead and get started. First, we set a saute pan over medium-high heat and we're going to add in our oil. Now while that's heating up, we're going to lay two slices of margarita prosciutto right out on the cutting board. Now you want to make sure that they slightly overlap each other. Next we're going to put two pieces of sage leaves right on top of our halibut and we're going to wrap the fish up in the prosciutto. There we go. 
We're going to do the exact same thing with our other piece of fish. There we go. Now once they're wrapped, we're going to lightly, just very lightly, flour each side of the wrapped fish right before we put these into the saute pan. And then we're going to go ahead and just place these into the saute pan. You want to make sure they're browned evenly on both sides. And when they are, you can go ahead and drain off any excess oil. Then we're going to go ahead and add our artichoke hearts. sun-dried tomatoes, our capers, then we're going to add some white wine, a little bit of lemon juice, and some soy sauce. And this looks really great so far. Now lower the heat to medium and we're going to let this simmer until the sauce reduces by about half. Next we're going to add our butter and we're going to give the pan a little swirl just to mix it all into the sauce here. And you're done. Halibut wrapped in margarita prosciutto, a restaurant quality dish that's easy to make at home.